Hold it right there. Vault 81 security. I don't know where you got your hands on a working pit boy, but you better start talking. Just open the damn door. I don't think so. Come back when you learn some manners. Vault 81 security. Ready to explain that pit boy? Vault 81? You're still up and running? Yeah. Pretty good observation there, genius. Now about that pit boy. Wouldn't you like to know? Keep it up, and you're never getting in here. Come back when you're ready to cooperate. Hey, mister. Are you really from the Commonwealth? Go away, kid. You bother me. Asshole. Me? No. I'm from the moon. Still got cheese in my shoes. I guess that was a dumb question. But I bet it's your first time here. I can show you around the vault if you want. Just five caps. Sure, but I'm not paying you. Okay, okay. Boy, you're a real cheapskate. This is the depot. The Combs family run it. Aaron and I are best friends. Her mom and dad fight a lot, so I don't like to go in there when they're around. But if you need something, they're the ones that have it. You're right to avoid them. They sound like bad people. They're not so bad. They don't hit each other or anything. The overseer's office is up there. They're busy up there, and they do not like to be bothered. She makes rules, but she's nice. I like her. Never met a politician that wasn't corrupt. I'm not sure what you mean by corrupt, but she's not mean or anything. Next stop, the diner. Hello, Austin. I see you're showing our guest from the Commonwealth around. Yes, ma'am. This is the Sunshine Diner. Grant says that they'll take all of her hard work and turn into swill. Mr. and Mrs. Somerset run the diner. They're pretty nice. Mrs. Somerset's pies are the best. I bet the food here is terrible. Nuh-uh. It's pretty good. Especially her pies. I'll save you a slice of pie, Austin. Next stop, Horatio. All right, this is where Horatio fixes up people's hair. Aaron's mom comes here all the time. Grant hardly comes here at all. She makes me cut my hair, though. It's not fair. Ain't letting someone with a sharp instrument near my throat. He's never cut anyone. And he's even shaved men's faces with a razor. How do you like the tour so far? Next stop is Gran. Hi, Gran. Austin, what are you doing here? Are you bothering that stranger from the Commonwealth? I'm not bothering him. I'm helping him. Hmm. That's Gran. She takes care of me. You can call her Dr. Penske. She acts all grumpy. But it's not for real. Says you. She runs our hydroponics lab. It's where we get all our food. Sounds like she's a real pain in the ass. Hey, don't talk about my gram like that. <laughs> I don't mind a little sass. Let it go, Austin. Next up, Miss Katie. This is the school. Miss Katie runs it. It's boring most of the time, but Grant says I have to go anyway. Your gran is a smart woman, Austin. School's a waste of time. Learn to shoot a gun instead. That's what I tell Gran. She says brains beat brawn every time. Next stop is the medical clinic. Let's go downstairs. This is our medical clinic. If you get hurt or sick, come down here. Dr. Forsyth says I can't bother him or Rachel while they're working. Goddamn quacks. I bet they still use leeches. I've never seen a leech. But Miss Katie told us about them. Now we go see Erin. She's gonna be surprised when she sees you. Come on! Erin! Look who I found! The stranger from the Commonwealth! Wow. You're really from the Commonwealth? Not this again. Just go back to playing with your dolls. Now I know why my dad says people from the outside are no good. Austin, don't you have to take him somewhere? Thanks a lot, mister. You scared the crap out of my friend. Hi there. Excuse me, mister. Have you seen my cat? How much would you pay to get him back? You can have my teddy bear. I've kind of outgrown him anyway. That's all? I can give you my kickball. I really like it. But I like Ashes better. Look, kid. Pay me what it's worth, or I'm not helping. You can have my silver locket. My mom gave it to me. I like it better than anything in the world. Except Ashes, of course. 
So I'm not getting a reward then. I'm not giving you anything. You're just a greedy jerk. Katie. Oh, you're that new traveler. You must have had so many adventures out in the Commonwealth. Survival isn't a game, lady. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to insult you. Um, <clears throat> so you're the new guy. I heard we let someone into the vault. How long do you plan on sticking around? That's none of your business. Yeah? Well, screw you too. Ashes, go home. Aaron misses you. I was so worried about him. Bringing back your cat almost got me killed. But Ashes didn't get hurt, right? Pardon me, Dr. Penske? You there. How would you like to do Vault 81 a favor and possibly save my boy's life? This isn't my problem. Find someone else to run your errands. You useless piece of shit. You won't even lift a finger to save a little boy. Oh, another stranger. Are you Vault Tech Security? I've waited so very patiently for you to arrive. Do I look like Vault Tech Security? Jeez. Oh. The cure. You found it. Let him die. I'm keeping it. You're going to sell it, aren't you? Bastard. Are you really willing to let Austin die just to earn a few caps? He can die for all I care. What's one more dead child in this world? No wonder we don't let many Commonwealth people into the vault. You are a cold, selfish bastard. Get out of my sight. Did you hear that outsider just say Dawson? <clears throat> hey, I, uh, I heard what you did for Austin. You saved that kid's life, so... I was hoping you could help me out with Bobby. I need someone to get him off the jet. Ever since all that drama, he's gotten worse. Doesn't leave his room, high all the time. Rachel said if he doesn't get help, he could die. Let him die. One less junkie in the Commonwealth. You outsiders are real humanitarians, you know that? It's a wonder I want to leave this place. Bobby. What are you doing here? Can't you see I'm busy? You're just a waste of space. I couldn't care less what you do. That's harsh, man. Really harsh. It wasn't my fault. No one was watching that kid anyway. It should have been you, not Austin. Oh, yeah? I bet it would have made that little decision of yours a lot easier. Save yourself and let the junkie die. You want to pin this all on me? Well, I'm not going to let you. Huh. 